Okay, one of the difficult things with uh, putting fins on a water rocket is if you place them on them on there, how do you actually stick them? Well, the key to that is to actually just make a lip and you need two bits of cardboard to attach it. Now, you can use one as a template. Now, this isn't necessarily the ideal size. It's just one that I've cut. So it's really up to students to decide on the size, the shape, and how many to put on there. All I'm really trying to show you is how to actually do it. So I'm just um, drawing out the shape and using the first one as a template. And now I'm just going to cut that out. And also the thickness of the cardboard, again that's up to students. Um, there's a balance between wanting it to be stable but not wanting it so big and, big and bulky that it adds a lot of extra weight. So that's just something they have to think about in the design. You know, what kind of material they're going to use. Um, so they're all kind of sciencey things. Now, once you've got this, they don't have to be perfectly the same, but you can create basically you know, a lip to attach them. And that's something like that that we're going to stick on the side. Now, this is the bottom of the water rocket, and you can't have the bottom of this going right down there, or else it won't fit on the stand. So it has to stop above the lip. You can't have the fin going beyond that bottom lip, all right? So I'll just use a bit of tape to get it together. You can use any tape that really works. And this is just a, some kind of sealing tape. So I'll just cut out a couple of bits. So first of all, I'll make sure those are about the same. So I'll just put that around there this around the bottom. And this can now go there. Now this where the bottom of the uh, where the well where the nozzle is. Now say I put it there, I can just put that on there and try and seal it down. And then on the other side Seal it down again. That's one fit. Now, exactly where it goes, whether it goes down low or up high, is up to the student. I kind of let that up to them to work on the design themselves. How many? Do you just put two? Do you put three? Do you put four? Do you equally space them? How big they should be? The thickness of the cardboard, that's really all up to the student to decide how they do that. So, I just wanted to really show you how you actually attach them. Now, I'd actually probably use a little bit more to attach it on there properly because it's got to stay rigid when it goes up okay so that's how you put fins on the water rocket now second thing is it does need a cone at the top now that's just gets it's pretty straightforward that just gets cut off and a bit of tape can go around there it needs to be reasonably watertight but it only has to hold water for a little while now usually I just put some tape around there a couple of times and um, that's a design. Now, this is just to reinforce the fin design. Now, irrespective of the size of shape, you need to have a bit at the end which is going to be for attaching to the rocket. Now, you need two bits because when you put them together, one of these lips is going to fold that way and the other is going to fold the opposite. And when you stick these two bits together, that means you've got these two bits here that will end up going against the surface like that. Okay, so that's the idea. So you've got something you can actually sellotape to the bottle. Okay.